Friday. What are you at? It is Pam here from Pam's Crafty Corner. I am checking in with you on this Friday. I think it's November 6th. It is. I'm just home from work. I am worn out from doing day shifts. I don't know who thinks this Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. is a good idea. <laughs> it's not for me. <laughs> And every time I um, offer to facilitate this teaching course at work, um, I love it. I enjoy thoroughly the whole experience of being in the classroom atmosphere, training new people. Um, gives me a break from what I do on a regular day-to-day -day basis, but... Oh, I just, what a slug the 8 to 4 Monday to Friday is with just two days off on the weekend. Like, who thinks that's a good idea? No. I love my 12-hour night shifts, four on and four off. I get four days to do what I want, and I don't mind working nights. I enjoy working nights, but this 8 to 4 stuff is wearing me out. Anyway. I'm all done for the week. I'm home from work. I have already cracked open an apple cider. So cheers. Um, we are going to relax and have a look at my whip updates. Um, things I've been working on for the past month. Some of it you may have seen um, during my, I have a hair in my eye now. You may have seen during my um, copy, crime, and craft updates, um, if you're watching those, and other ones you wouldn't have seen because I haven't shown them. I do, I will preface this video by saying that because my work schedule has changed drastically in the last month, my crafting output has also changed drastically in the last month. So I've only got three actual projects to show you that I've been working on. So why don't we get started? I'm gonna start with the cross stitch first. So, um, for Halloween, I pulled out my um, dark stitching piece, Arsenic and Old Lace, by The Little Stitcher. Um, she's on Etsy for anyone who may be interested in having this chart. This is just my PDF copy that I printed from my email when I got that on Etsy. Um, the lighting here is not real great because it is um, quarter after five in the evening now and it is um, dark, like dark, dark here already. That's the consequence of daylight savings time. I'm living in the Northern Hemisphere. So, here is, that light overhead is not doing this justice, but anyway, there you go. That's where Arsenic and Old Lace is right now. I finished the border, the lace border along the top. I put the little spider web in. I finished the man that was sitting in the chair with his wine glass. I finished the candlesticks on the table. I stitched in the table and the wine carafe as well as that little spider dangling from the table. And I also finished off this lady. I put in her eyeglasses and the candlesticks were done, but I didn't have the flame added to the top. So that is now done as well. So there you go. There is Arsenic and Old Lace in all of its glory. This is a fun stitch. I'm enjoying this. Um, it's easy to work on. And I can just pick at it here and there as need be. So that's what I stitched on for Halloween. I also worked on Folk Witch. Now, as many of you know, I had a goal this year to have this finished by 
the end of the year by December 31st, and that is not going to happen. Um, if I hadn't um, taken up facilitating this course at work and I still had my four days off every week, I probably could have kept up the same, um, I don't know, the same pace at which I was stitching before. But by the time I get home in the evenings and I um, have dinner and I settle down for the night, I can only get a couple hours stitching in and then I'm done. So, although I did hit a milestone on this since you last saw it on a floss tube update, I am not going to be able to get this finished by the end of the year. So, um, I know Jay doesn't really care. Um, that was just a deadline I put on myself to have it done by then. Um, but it will be finished very early in the new year, I think. So I'll show you what I've got done. Um, I just, I only unsnapped the top just so I could take it off the, unroll it from the cue snap to show it to you. But here we go. You ready? I finished the entire top of the piece. She is completely done. Mind the wrinkles with all the, where it's been rolled up in the cue snap. But that is all done. And now I've started working on the bottom. So I don't even know if I can back up enough for you to see all that in the, there we go. <laughs> so the top, I've completely finished this top section with all of the confetti stitches that I had left, all done. So where I am now is I have started on the bo bottom section. This is the bottom of the piece. So I literally just have this row of pages to do along the bottom. Um, I just started to stitch cross country about halfway over because that's what um, I can get on my cue snap. And when I get that done, I'll move the cue snap over and finish this last half. So like I said, had I been working steadily on this, like I was before, I have no doubt in, what is it, eight weeks left, um, I probably could have been, I could have been pretty close. So I would have worked on this um, my four days off every week in October and now into November, and then I would have had December, but October month only saw me get this little bit done, which is a lot. I mean, I've, I finished the top and then I got started on this um, but it's not near the output I typically would have. And because I'm teaching at work, um, I can't stitch at work because there's no downtime for me in the daytime on my shifts. So I'm going to get back at this this evening while I'm having my cider and I'm going to enjoy my weekend working on her and seeing how much more I can get filled in on this bottom corner. Ta-da! So I'm really excited that um, the top section is done and I'm on the very last row of pages. I can't wait to have it finished. I'm really looking forward to having it done and giving her a nice bath, getting her all cleaned up and pressed. And then I'll roll her up into a nice shipping tube and send her off to Jay in England. The only other project I've worked on, and again, that's been sporadic, has been my sweater. I was hoping to have this finished, but again, um, work is eating into my crafting time. I'm just going to have to retire early or something. So, um, when you last saw this, I was still working on the first sleeve. This is literally what I have left to do on the first sleeve. It's a sleeve that's an inset sleeve, not a raglan sleeve. It's, it's inset along the seam on the shoulder. So I was hoping to have this done before I did my video, but I wasn't going to put off doing this video. So here is the sleeve. 
cuff at the end with the um, banding. This all has to be sewn together, of course. It's just open at the moment. So when it gets sewn together, it will be something like that. So here's your cuff at the bottom, the colored banding, and then on what will be this section of the sleeve, like the mid, mid arm. Here we go, see, mid arm. Almost by right by my shoulder is gonna be this part, which is the fish. So, as you can see, I'm just doing the shaping for the top of the arm where it gets inset. This is decreasing on this side and it is also decreasing on this side. So that's where it's gonna get set into the top of the shoulder up here. I will have that done probably before this weekend is over and I want to cast on the second sleeve before I go back to work on Monday. So that, that's all of my whips. That's everything I've worked on since I sat down and did a floss tube video in October. Um, my next coffee crime and crafts video, which I will upload next Friday. For that one, I don't think I'm gonna work on a cross stitch project or my sweater which is what I've worked on up to this point. It's been cross stitch or sweater. I think I'm gonna pull out my hexi quilt, my English paper piecing, and I'm probably gonna be um, just sewing some of that together while I'm doing my coffee crime and craft video. So I hope you can check that out next weekend. I'm gonna keep this video very short and sweet. Um, a little while ago, I received a package in the mail. I believe this came from um, the Fat Quarter Shop. And they sent this to me um, because they work with um, It's So Emma. It's So Emma.com. So they sent me a package with a couple of cross stitch patterns in it um, for me to, I guess, show and uh, review, preview. And they are super cute little patterns. Um, they're really cute, actually. So the first one they sent me, and I'm gonna do a giveaway for this. So here we go, are you ready? So the first one they sent me is the Prim Stitch Series called Peace and Plenty. It's by Lori Holt of Be In My Bonnet uh, with It's So Emma. And here it is. Oh, I got a glare on that. There you go. Maybe you can see it a bit clearer there. It's a cute little pattern. And that's called Peace and Plenty. P-E-A-C-E. -E. Um, it's heavy cardstock, and it has the DMC uh, floss list on the back, and the instructions and the pattern is on the inside. This is uh, number three of 12. So apparently there is, there's 12 of these in the series. If you're interested in this, um, leave me a comment with the word peace, P-E-A-C-E, -E, with the word peace in the comment. And I will do a random um, draw based on the comments and get this out in the mail to someone. Um, I will send it international, so that doesn't matter. Um, just be understanding that with the way the postal service is right now and with us coming up onto Christmas season, um, it may take a while for it to get to you. Um, but that can just go in a regular flat um, letter envelope. So I will pop that in the mail to you. So just leave me a comment with the word peace, P-E-A-C-E. -E. 
All right, if you're interested in that pattern. The second one is super cute. This one's also by Lori Holt of Be In My Bonnet, and it's called Pumpkins For Sale. And they did this with It's So Emma as well. And there's the design. Oh, I'll turn it a little bit, there you go. So it's called Pumpkins For Sale. So if you would like to be entered into the draw for this chart, leave me a comment with the word um, pumpkins with an S. P-U-M-P-K-I-N-S, pumpkins. And I, again, will do a random draw based on the comments and get this off to someone who would like to have it. Um, I'll probably do a draw for those in two weeks. So I don't even know what date that is. So not Friday coming, I'll be doing my coffee, crime and crafts video. Uh, it'll be the Friday after that. So in two, two weeks from today, I will do a draw um, for one of these two charts and then I can get them out in the mail, hopefully, before it's too late. Um, these are cute little designs. Uh, I would have held on to these and maybe stitched them myself, but um, I can't really say that this Prim series, um, I can't really say that's my style. And I have so many pieces that I'm working on at the moment that um, this, although I think it's adorable, that would just languish in my stash. And I think that's a little bit unfair. So, I'm going to pass the kindness off to you guys. Um, looks like this one, for anyone who's interested, the stitch count is 160 wide by 122 high. And this one is, this one's much smaller. It's square. It's 74 wide by 74 high. So much smaller. So there you go. I hope everyone is having a fabulous day. I hope you enjoy your weekend. I hope your stitching is going well or whatever crafting you are currently doing. I have, this is the 6th of November. I just finished the fourth week of teaching that course. So I only have three weeks left to go. Not that I'm counting. <laughs> But I have three weeks of eight to four, Monday to Friday left before I get to return to my regularly scheduled life and back to my night shifts. So cheers, everybody. Enjoy your weekend. Happy stitching. And I'll see you in a couple weeks. Bye.